Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, we're doing another episode of Way Wow. It's what are you working on Wednesday? So if that's some content that you would like, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let me go ahead and give you that table of content first. So I'm gonna tell you what, I'm, what I worked on or finished up I'm gonna show you the two McCall patterns that I picked up last week during the McCall sale. I'm gonna tell you the Joanne sale that's currently going on that will start, I'm sorry, it's not going on right now. It will start tomorrow, which is Thursday the 23rd. And then I'm gonna close out with what's coming up this upcoming week. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. All right, so listen, let's go ahead and talk about what I sewed this week. So. I am showing the shirt that I have on this week. So I'm not gonna take it off, I'm just gonna show it. And I'm also gonna put pictures up as well and talk through the photos. All right, so the top that I am wearing is Butterick 6733. And on this, uh, it's what the model wearing here, uh, which is View, I think it's View B on the pattern. I'll go ahead and put it up and circle it as well. I believe it's view C on the pattern. And basically what it is, is basically a button front shirt. All right, so I love the pattern. Yes, I do. I love the pattern, I love the buttons, I love the fabric that I use, which is the stripe. I was not trying to copy the pattern. I remember that I had this window pane fabric in my stash, so I went ahead and pulled it out. This fabric is from Hancock's fabric from many moons ago. I think it's been in my stash for seven to eight years. So once I did a, uh, basically cleaned out all of my trays of fabric, my closet and everything after I moved, I was able to see what fabrics I have. So I've been pairing fabric with patterns, newer patterns that I can use. So that's why I went ahead and pulled it out. Now, the things that I like about the pattern is I love the buttons. I love how they have this nice, lovely facing right here. I love that. Now, the cons to it, what I do not like is the sleeves. Like the sleeves just keep falling off. So I think what I'm going to do is take some elastic and basically uh, sew in some elastic for it to kind of bunch together right here to stay on my shoulders. I'm really not liking the fact that it just keeps coming down off my shoulders. So what I did was I paired it with some black, black jeans and some shoes and that's how I uh, took my photos uh, today. All right, so that's what I sewn this week. The other thing that I sewn this week is the Henley top, which is this uh, top right here, utilizing McCall 7360 um, view A on the pattern. So the thing about it is I like the top, yes I do, and I love the fabric. The fabric is, um, from Wax Prince Lace and More. However, this fabric was stash fabric that I just used the rest of it to get rid of it for the top because um, I utilized this fabric when I did, I think it was Rapunzel when I did the African the Disney African Princess collection back in February. So I'm just utilizing the rest of the fabric in order to not have any left because y'all know I'm no fabric left behind. Um, so that's what I did with this. Now, the pros to this, what I like and what's the pros to it is it comes together very quickly. Uh, the pattern is easy to, you know, it's easy to follow if you follow with the pattern, but I have done so many tops to the point where I did look at the instructions. It's easy to follow. One thing I wanna mention that's a con is it fits with no problem when you put it on. However, when it was time to take it off, because I tried it on just to measure the fit. When I went to take it off, I needed my husband to help me take it off because it just would not come off. Um, and it had nothing to do with the biceps because the sleeves fit. It was just, I don't know where the sizing came in when it was time to pull it off. So. Um, that was one thing that I did not like about this top. This is McCall 7360. This was the second thing that I uh, worked on this week. However, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and still finish the top and then just give it to one of my younger sisters. They'll be able to fit into it. My daughter is too big for my daughter, of course. Um, she could wear it as a nightgown um, with some buttons. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But however, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it and that would be a second top for someone that I'm going, going to donate it to. But those are the two things that I worked on this week. So now that I talked about what I worked on this week, let's go ahead and talk about those two patterns that I picked up from Joann's for the McCall's pattern sale. All right, so the two patterns that I picked up, um, both of these are from fall. No, I think one is spring, summer 2021, and the other one is fall. So that spring, summer 2021 pattern is McCall's 8223, which is this one right here. And it is a pant pattern. This is more like a palazzo pants, which is white lake pants pattern. I'm interested in doing, do you see what the model is wearing right here? The fabrics that you can uh, use is crepe, stable knit, chali, or cotton blend. However, I'm not sure what kind of fabric I will use uh, for these pants because I'm thinking of looking at like crepe fabrics and printed crepe and just make a matching top with it. I'm not sure yet, but whenever I get around to it, that's the view that I would do. And the other pattern that I picked up, which is a fall 2021 pattern that just came out, is McCall's 8246, which is this trench coat pattern. Um, it is a jacket coat and belt pattern. The fabrics that you can use is wool blends, gabardine, water repellent fabric, and then you're also going to need some lining for this as well. Make note of uh, how many buttons you need. Now, I would like to do view A on this pattern, which means that I would need nine one inch buttons and a one inch flat button as well. And that's basically uh, up top. So that's what I would need for this pattern. Once again, it's McCall 8246. All right, so now that I talked about the two patterns that I picked up from Joann's during the McCall sales that ended Sunday, let's talk about the pattern sale that Joann's is having this upcoming week. It starts tomorrow, September 23rd through the 26th. The Simplicity patterns are at 99 cents. So I'm gonna put it up on the screen, the pattern sale. Um, it's 99 cents simplicity pattern. So this is one of those times where if there's any patterns that I have uh, shown you during the week, I think it was uh, a couple of weeks ago when I did a whole collection or maybe it was a month ago when I did a whole collection of simplicity patterns and you wanted them and they're, uh, like I said, I feel like they're out of print, but some of them that I showed and I'll go ahead and put it in the cards, um, some of them that I have shown are not out of print. You just have to look in the pattern drawer. So make sure you do that. There are a few patterns that I want to pick up during the Simplicity sale. It's not a lot. It's uh, ones that I want to pick up for my son and my husband because we are doing a photo shoot and we all want to look alike. So I am looking for Simplicity 9157 just in case if you're wondering which ones I will pick up. I will definitely show when I pick them up. But once again, that Simplicity 99 cent sale starting tomorrow, September 23rd, and will end on the 26th. All right, so now that I talked about Joann's pattern sale that's coming up this week, let me go ahead and tell you what I will be working on this week. Because it's not the end of this month, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish up. So I do have one done, I'm doing a second one. So if you guys remember when I did Project Dress a Girl, which the ambassador is Madi Sews for Curves. So if you want to participate in Project Dress a Girl and you have not, you can always email um, Madi Sews or go to the website madisews.com, which I'll leave in the description box below. And also reach out to Madi and um, see if there's any other dresses you can create. If you just did not want to do a video for it, but you want to utilize your hands and create these, this last week of this project, go ahead and go over to the website so you can see how you can participate in Project Dress Girl. But this was the dress that I created when I did the Meaning of Colors, which if you look up, you can see that video. Uh, click and see that video after you watch this one. It's Simplicity 8104. My daughter loved the dress. It's not for her. <laughs> So she wanted a dress, so I said, you know what, since you want the dress and I have a pattern that match it, which is Simplicity 1356, which I did not use this pattern, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Um, but this is Simplicity 8104. I am doing matching wrap 
uh, reversible wrap dresses for myself as well as my daughter. This is this month, Mommy and Me for the month of September. It's not out, but you will see it next week. All right. So let me tell you uh, about Simplicity 1356 this wrap dress so when i picked up this pattern i picked up this pro pattern probably in like 2014 which is seven years ago i picked it up based off of ready to wear versus my actual bus sides now so when i picked the pattern up i picked it up in the lower range pattern which ends at a 14. well i know for any top that i do i always need to cut either an 18 or 20 or i'm going to have to size it up well when you size this pattern up, it's completely off. It just looks way too big, yada, 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 right? All right, so what I did, instead of using this pattern, I, have, I had to be very creative, right? And I have creative juices running all the time. So what I did was I went to my basic bodice sloper that I created from uh, Sew It Academy course number seven and eight, I created a dress. I'll go ahead and put pictures up of the dress that I created for Sew It Academy. So I went ahead and pulled that basic bodice sloper out. And what I did was went ahead and recreate this dress. So basically I went ahead and drafted out how I want the front to look as well as lengthen the ties for the tie front for the tie front. And then of course, I'm just gonna add some ribbons uh, on the inside like I did for Project Dress to Girl Dress. And I think that it'll come out about the same because basically the basic bodice sloper that I created in the dress, the structure is pretty much the same. The only thing I have to do is create that uh, side front situation, which I know how to do that. I'll create that side front um, that attaches to the uh, ties. So I'll create a side front and make sure that you know everything fits so i am doing a muslin for it to make sure everything fits before i cut into my nice lovely fabric that my daughter chose this month um she wanted to she wanted to choose the fabric for this dress and i allowed her to do so so you should be seeing these next week all right so now that i talked about what's coming up this upcoming week the last thing i want to tell you is that if you have not been paying attention, today starts a new series, top series, fall series. So you should be able to see that video. Go ahead and view that vi video of all the tops that I will be sewing for this fall series. This fall series starts today. There's one last top series for this year, which will be the winter top. And I will do a spoiler alert real quick that there is a cardigan and a duster in this series that's coming up in the winter time so that would be the last series and i will not be sewing any more tops for a little while um, i do have some holes in my closet that i will be working on making my 2020 calendar to fill those holes and that's all that i have for you in this episode of way wow i hope you enjoyed this video so as always like comment and subscribe Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time, keep sewing.